Well, I have a crack in my Blendtec blender jar that is causing me a little bit of problems when I'm making smoothies and stuff like that. A force we didn't fully understand until it was too late. So, I went to buy a new one online and I almost crapped in my own pants because they're like 130, 150 bucks to replace just the jar, not the blender. I've used this blender like 900 times, so it really doesn't owe me much. So what I did is I took some Gorilla Glue, like Gorilla Super Glue, and I put that along this crack, and lo and behold, when I go to make a smoothie or crush fruit or whatever, I get some spots that squirts out through that crack still. So today's adventure, I'm going to use this JB plastic weld that says it is multi-purpose for most hard plastics. It has a strength of 4,400 PSI. I'm going to mix that up and I sanded down the crack a little bit, you can see here. So I'm going to put that on and see if maybe that will work. The grill glue failed. Will the JB weld work? Well, let's find out. Okay, it says this sets in five minutes, so I guess we got to work pretty fast. Open it up. Squirt some of this onto, whoa, Nelly. To a piece of cardboard. This little stick comes with it. Mix it up. It says it takes five minutes to dry and one hour to cure, so apply it on that crack. I'm not intending to make this pretty. I'm intending to make this functional. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the moment everybody has been waiting for. Will the JB Weld hold up? Or will it spill out the crack of the Blendtec? It's been sitting overnight. Here we go. Can a broken jar be fixed? Or will it squirt out the bottom? Fire in the hole. JB Weld did it. As you can see, there's no leakage. JB Weld wins today. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Subscribe to my channel or like this video. Talk to you later.